Okay, welcome back. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to save and publish our game. So we've added some pieces to our obby. We've tested it. And now what we want to do is we want to save it to Roblox and publish it so that other people can play our game. So there's a couple of ways to do this, and I'll show you both. The first thing is we want to save this game to Roblox. So we click on File up here in the uh, corner. And then you want to click on Save to Roblox As. Okay, so press that. Okay, now down here, <clears throat> down here in the corner, you'll see that it says Create New Game. Okay, so you want to press that. And you want to give your game a name. So I'm going to just call it Easy Obby. You can call yours whatever you want. The rest of these um, you don't have to fill in, um, but once you've done that, go ahead and click Save. And you should see a screen like this that lets you know that your game has been saved. Okay, go ahead and press Close. Now what we've done is we've saved our game to Roblox, but we also want to publish it. So again, go back here, press File, and this time, Go ahead and press publish to Roblox. Okay, so if you press that, it doesn't do anything, but um, it's been published to Roblox. Now what we want to do is we want to change some settings on our game. So right here, there is this button, game settings. We want to go ahead and press that. Okay, now in here, we're going to do going to do a couple of things. First, we're going to press permissions, then we're going to press public, and finally, we're going to press save. So let me let me highlight those. So first, permissions, then we make it public, and finally we save it. Okay? So go ahead and press all of those. And our game has now been um, saved and published, and it should be public. Now, there's two ways to check that everything worked. And one way we can do, one way that we can check that everything worked is right within Roblox Studio. Unfortunately, it doesn't work the first time. Uh, I'm not really sure why. But if you look up here, <clears throat> there's this button. It looks like two lines connected by three little circles. Okay. And that's actually the share button. But if we press it now, it never works the first time. It says publish your game and make it public to share it. But we've already done that. So what you have to do is you have to close, you have to close studio. So I'm just going to go ahead and close it here. Let me turn off the full screen so I can get my close button. So I'm going to close it. Then I'm going to open it again. Okay. And if I go to my games this time instead of instead of new right here I have a lot of games here, but the one that uh, we just made is here, Easy Obby. And you'll notice it says public, so that did work. So I'm going to go ahead and press on that. Here's my game. And now if I go over here and click the share button, it works. And I'm not sure why it does that, but the first time that we save and publish a game, this share button never works. But if you close Roblox Studio and then open it again, um, now you see a copy link and that link is actually the link to your game um, so you could just press that and it says link copied and then you could go to a browser let me open up um, Chrome and I'll paste and go and there's the game and you know it works if you see this little green button with the white arrow that means that it's good to go so that's one way that's one way to um, to share your game, okay? And now anybody with this link right here 
can play your game. But let me show you the other way. And the other way to do this is from within, let me make this big. The other way to do this is from within Roblox. So if I go to Roblox, actually, I guess I could have just pressed my bookmark. Okay, you should see something like this. And what you want to do is you want to go here to where it says create. Okay, and I've got messages. <laughs> okay, so here you want to go to this section that says create. And right here you will see all of your games. Now, this one is the one that we just made, Easy Obby, and you can tell that it's public. But if you ever needed to um, change some of the settings on it, there's a settings button right here. And you just go to configure experience. And it lets you change whatever you want, the name, make it public, there's other kinds of settings, but it's okay. Um, I don't need to save it or anything, but here's where you would change the, um, the public setting. Now right here, there is a back button. You can go ahead and press that. And that will take you directly to this, to this, um, page for your game. Okay. The other way you could get to this page back in create is um, right next to start place, right next to start place. It says easy obby. And if you click on that, it also takes you to the start, to the, um, the start page for your game. And now you can, like I said, share this link with anybody, press play. It will open Roblox and And it worked. And so you see my obby here. I can make it full screen. And it worked. We now have a working published game that we can share with anyone. Okay. And so this is actually um, really easy compared to other, other game design tools. Uh, other game design tools do not make it this easy to share your games online with people. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to close this. And we're back in Roblox Studio. So <clears throat> we've gone ahead and we've saved and published our game. But what happens when we make changes? Well, if you do make some changes, like let's say I, um, I don't know, add another, another piece to my obby. Okay, change the color again. Okay, so I made a change, and my obby, the the game that I have online, it isn't going to, um, these changes aren't going to show up unless I do two things. And what I have to do is I have to go here to File, and I have to press Save to Roblox, Publish to Roblox. Okay, so every time you make changes, if you want those changes to show up in your public game, File, Save to Roblox, File, Publish to Roblox. Okay, and you have to do that every time you want to save your changes. Um, but this is it. This is the end of the first lesson. And we did a lot. We were introduced to all of the pieces inside of Roblox Studio. We learned how to uh, turn windows on and off, how to control our camera. We learned how to insert parts and then make changes to those parts, um, like their appearance, size, uh, position. We learned how to test our games within Roblox Studio. And then we were able to save and publish our game so that anybody can play it. So that's the end of lesson one. Um, in lesson two, we will learn how to make um, more complicated models than these simple shapes that come with Roblox. So I'll see you then.